Hi guys, my name is David Wyszczek, let's just stick to DL. I'm 25 years old bodybuilder living in Manchester, England. Today is 2nd of July 2014 and I'm exactly 12 weeks away from UK BFF Northeast Championship Leagues where I will compete in super heavyweight or perhaps heavyweight category. I'm not sure about the weight yet. Uh, last year I competed in the British finals uh, in intermediates of the 90s. My stage weight was uh, about 96 kilograms. Uh, current body weight is 107, so I'm hoping to be a couple of kilograms heavier than last year. Uh, in this video, I will talk a bit uh, about my cardio and diet, so the bread and butter of any contest prep. So, in terms of the diet, I'm no different than any other competitor. Uh, I eat the same meals every day at the same time and it looks like at the moment kitchen scales are my best friend. Uh, strictly speaking, I started my diet 16 weeks out from the show, uh, even though my proper diet starts now, 12 weeks out. Uh, I slowly ease myself into it by making small adjustments and changes. So at first I replaced uh, certain foods with maybe less processed versions of it. So for example, after the training I used to have uh, breakfast cereal, which has been replaced with rice, sauces has been replaced with spices, and I stopped using uh, milk in my coffees. Uh, afterwards, I introduced a small calorie deficit of 500 calories, coming mainly from carbohydrates, and that brought down my calories to 3,500, roughly 300 grams of protein, 300 grams of carbohydrate, and uh, 70 grams of fat. Uh, all of my meals are very easy to make, so I'm not going to really show you how do I prepare them unless you would like a crash course in operating the kettle in the microwave. So let me just show you uh, the meals uh, ready to eat, how they look like, and I'm just going to describe a couple of things. Meal number one, 200 grams of salmon with 150 grams of green beans. As you can see, I'm avoiding any source of direct carbohydrates in this meal, also in the second one. And the reason for that is I'm trying to take advantage of the metabolic flexibility. During the overnight fast, the body has been forced to use fats as the primary source of the energy. And this can continue until I'm gonna raise the insulin level, which halts any fat burning. And obviously raise the insulin level by having carbohydrates. So by avoiding them in the first two meals of the day, I can promote the fat loss which obviously gonna optimize my body composition. Moving along, meal number two, six full eggs and 100 grams of frozen spinach, all of that made into an omelet, fried on 10 grams of coconut oil. As I mentioned before, the spinach I'm using is frozen, as is the rest of the vegetables in my diet. And this is just a bit more cost effective. And also, that might be a bit of a surprise to some of the people, Frozen vegetables may actually contain more vitamins than their fresh counterparts. And the reason for that is that post-harvest, the vegetables and fruits are being frozen straight away, so they're not being stored in a warehouse for God knows how long. And during that storage time, usually the temperature can be unfavorable, or maybe the fruits and vegetables can be exposed to the UV light. And all of these and other factors can actually destroy the water-soluble vitamins and antioxidants. So, in this respect, frozen vegetables might be better. Meal number three, that would be the pre-workout meal. 50 grams of oats with a little bit of cinnamon and sweetener. With that, 50 grams of whey with water. Personally, I'm using whey protein concentrate 80%. It's not really ideal in terms of the macronutrients. You get a bit of fats and carbohydrates in it. And uh, obviously during the contest prep, you would try to avoid that because you could allocate those macronutrients somewhere else. Sure, it doesn't seem like a lot, three grams of fats and three grams of carbohydrates. But let's say you're having three shakes a day. So that slowly adds up and uh, obviously you could have those carbohydrates from something 
you could actually taste and something that could actually fill you up. On the other hand, uh, WPC 80% is quite cost effective, especially on the student budget. Uh, as I said before, I've got some cinnamon with the oats. Reason for that, cinnamon has been shown to increase the insulin sensitivity, so that obviously helps. Meal number four, my post-workout meal, the biggest meal of the day, which is over 180 grams of carbs. So yeah, quite, quite a lot. We've got here 120 grams of jasmine rice, 100 grams of applesauce, two bananas, and again, 50 grams of whey protein concentrate mixed with water. We're also gonna sprinkle some cinnamon over the rice with the applesauce. So jasmine rice, source of complex carbohydrates, despite that uh, this type of rice have a very high glycemic index, which means that it elevates your blood sugar level very quickly, which is ideal after training. On top of that, we get some simple sugars from applesauce and bananas. We get some sucrose. In my opinion, combining a source of sucrose with a source of glucose after the training is a very good strategy for recovering the glycogen levels. Meal number five, 250 grams of frozen chicken, which annoyingly shrinks to about 150 grams after cooking, and with that, 50 grams of brown rice. The chicken is fried on a low calorie spray oil uh, with a bit of OXO shake and flavor spice. That's only 8 calories per serving, so no issues here really. And probably sprinkling the spice burns all of these calories anyway. Brown rice has been picked uh, because of its low glycemic index, so steady carbs release, no insulin spikes, which again may enhance the fat loss. Meal also contains some vegetables usually 200 grams of green beans or broccoli. Meal number six, a bit boring, same as meal number five, chicken and rice, typical bodybuilding cliche. Anyway, as uh, you can see from the picture, you can still make it look a bit more nice and interesting. Not that I do anyway. Normally I'd probably just eat it out of the pot if I'm really hungry. But for the purpose of the video, I just decided to spice it up a bit. And finally, last but not the least, meal number seven, the last meal of the day. Really simple, 50 grams of oats with 50 grams of whey protein again, and a bit of cinnamon. Usually when I'm at home, I'm just gonna pour some boiled water over the oats, which is gonna allow them to soak up a bit more. The starch is gonna gelatinize, it's gonna be easier to digest. Also gonna add a bit more volume to the meal. And I'm gonna have my shake separately. If I'm out and about somewhere, then eating may not be really as convenient. Then I'm just gonna dump everything into a protein shaker and allow the oats to soak for an hour or two before I'm gonna try to eat them. So yeah, that summarizes my diet. Thank you for listening. Ne Next, cardio. Okay, cardio, probably the most boring, mind-numbing and hated part of the contest prep. In the past, I used to do up to two sessions of 40 minutes, uh, low intensity, steady paced, power walking or cycling. And what I noticed is that uh, it just set me up for a massive weight rebound afterwards. And also I noticed that uh, my legs tend to lose size, especially when I used to do a lot of power walking. And that's possibly due to lack of hip flexion uh, during that movement. So this year I'm trying something different. I'm trying high intensity training, which has the same benefits as steady paced cardio, but also elevates your metabolism for the entire day, as well as can potentially build muscle. Uh, obviously it can be quite taxing on the central nervous system, but at this stage of the contest prep, it's not really an issue. Uh, I'm still well rested, I'm eating quite a lot of calories, uh, so it's not really a problem. Uh, so 12 weeks out, I'm performing uh, three sessions of high intensity training on my days of gym and my weapon of choice is sledgehammer and attire.
So there you go, high intensity training, stretch hammer entire workout. Uh, we had uh, 10 sets of 30 reps, 5 sets on, on each arm. Terrific workout. That sums up my diet and cardio. In the next video I will film my training at the gym. And now just to finish off a short posing session to show you my starting point. And that's it. Over and out.